So for problem 35, we are trying to determine whether the series is convergent or divergent. Um, and at first, we're going to apply the divergence test, which says that um, if the limit of whatever it is that you're summing up, so in this case of 35, it is this expression here. Um, if the limit as n co goes to infinity of whatever you're summing up is not equal to zero, then you, um, your series is divergent. And the reason is, uh, because you're going to be essentially be adding these terms infinitely. However, these terms aren't zero. So necessarily with each added term that you're adding, um, it's going to make your sum go somewhere else. Whereas if the limit is zero, at some point you're going to be essentially just adding zero and your sum is going to stay fixed and it's going to converge, possibly. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the limit of this stuff that's within the summation symbol. So we're taking the limit as n goes to infinity of ln of n squared plus 1 divided by 2n squared plus 1. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to divide the expression that's within the ln by the highest power, which in this case it's going to be um, n squared. The reason that we're going to divide by the highest power is if we just take this limit outright, we're going to have um, ln of infinity plus 1 divided by infinity plus 1. Um, so we're going to have to divide it out so that we can get a well-defined limit. So this is going to be equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of ln. We divide the top and the bottom by the highest power. So n squared divided by 1 squared. n squared is 1 plus 1 divided by n squared is 1 over n squared. And then 2 divided by n squared is going to be just 2, and then plus 1 divided by n squared, which is going to be just 1 over n squared. And now we're ready to apply this limit here. Um, and this is just going to be equal to the ln. Oops, let me rewrite this. So that's just going to be the ln of... Um, the ln of 1 is just 1. 1 plus 1 divided by infinity, this term here, it goes to 0. So that's going to be 1 plus 0 divided by um, 2 plus 1 divided by infinity. That's going to be 0. So 2 plus 0, which is the same thing as ln of 1 half. Now notice that ln of 1 half is not equal to 0, right? So we have ln of 1 half is not equal to zero. So the conclusion here is that the series is going to diverge because essentially as n gets really, really large, all your terms that you're adding are going to tend to ln of one half. So if you just keep adding ln of one half infinitely, um, that sum is always going to change with every added term. So we're gonna say it diverges because of the divergence test, it diverges. And that's it for problem 35.